have a little notebook here with everything that I'm going to say because if I don't have it written down, it would be a mess. Hey guys, it's me, so. Today's video is going to be a whole roller coaster. I always knew at some point I'd have to film this video. I always knew that it would be the most dreadful thing. I always knew that no matter how prepared I thought I was, it would still hurt like hell. On Tuesday, 23rd of February, I had to say goodbye to my Nussie. He was the best dog. And yeah, it's cliche. Everyone thinks their dog is the best. But I believe that everyone's dog is the best for them. And Nutella was the best for us. He was the best family dog. He was just as lazy as us. And he really adapted to our family. Nutella was in almost every video. Sometimes by choice, but mostly because I forced him. And yet he'd always love me. Unconditionally. A little over a year ago, he started getting sick. Throwing up, not eating. Nutella was the most food-loving dog out there. If he wasn't eating, something was wrong. We found out that he had kidney stones. He had surgery and quickly recovered. A few months later, he stopped eating, again. It turns out he had a tumor next to his pancreas, causing it to inflame. When dogs have this, it's pretty much a life or death situation. He spent four days at the vet. I was scared. It was the first time I really cried for my dog. Um, we visited him every single day. He really did love us. He stayed alive just for us. He was so loyal. If the treatment doesn't work, the dog can die within two days. But of course, the treatment worked. Now we had a tumor to combat. Another successful surgery, another successful recovery. And he started eating once again, just like normal. And then around July, we got told that he had cancer. I'm still not sure what type, but since he had had surgery recently, chemo was too risky an option. Nutella was eating again as usual, always hungry and never stopping, despite the fact that he had cancer. In November, I had one of the scariest nights of my life. We were told that Nutella had to be put down by the end of that week. He had another tumor, this one in his bowel. Now, the reason we initially took him to the vet that night wasn't because he wasn't eating, it was because he wasn't going to the bathroom, he wasn't pooping. He had also lost a lot of weight, and only weighed about half his normal weight. We managed to keep him alive, feeding him loads and giving him a laxative. But only for three more months. And then came the time. He stopped eating, he stopped wagging his tail, he couldn't get up or even sleep. It was time. Love you. No. He's ready. Nutsi and I would go on afternoon walks and take pictures of the sunset. He'd bark at every moving thing, especially other dogs. His collar made an instantly recognizable noise. The doorbell was always followed by a bark, and whenever I took out a blanket, he'd come and lay on it. I'll always love how he thought my balcony was like a garden. How he'd always greet me when I got home. How he gave his paw if he liked someone and go to the nearest family member if he didn't. He would do every single trick he knew just to get the treat. But without treats, he'd be the laziest sleepy dog. My Nutsi, there will be no other dog like you. Putting your dog down is never easy. But at least you get to say goodbye. I gave him one last pet on his forehead where he had the small black spot and walked away. I will love you, my Nitsi. Always and forever. These nine years were the very best. You will stay with me for the rest of my life. I will never, ever forget you. No one could have asked for a better dog, better best friend, and most of all, a better nap time buddy. Rest up, Nitsi. We'll be okay. It's weird getting used to life without him. I would do everything with him. He'd always be there. And it's the little things that really hit me. Baking without him at my feet, looking for something to eat. Taking his collar off of him at the vet. I just, I miss him. And you know, I've dealt with it pretty well, I'm not gonna lie. I think because he got sick, 
so long ago we were prepared for it. So when the time came, you know, I knew it was going to happen. I was mentally prepared for it, but it's one of the most difficult things. That was one of the worst days of my life. And, you know, I'll be okay. Because these are things that happen in life. I don't know why. It sucks. I hate going on walks without him. But they do help just to see places that I wouldn't have been able to see with him because he was too much of a stress dog. And there's this one tree. It was the first walk that I went on without my Nancy. And I went to go see a tree. This tree is the prettiest tree I've seen. It's huge. It's amazing. It's, you know, it, it's just very nice to look at. I sang a song to Mitzi every time, you know, it was my favorite song. And I sang it to him to calm him down or, you know, to calm myself down. And when we were waiting in the car on our way to the wet vet, I sang it to him. And it's a, uh, yeah, I love you, babe. Well, I had my playlist on, on that walk. As soon as I arrived to that tree, the song started playing. And... It's the little signs like that that remind me that, you know, he's always going to be there looking down on me. Um, you know, I'll always remember him. It's the most difficult thing I've ever had to do. It's probably the most difficult thing I will ever have to do. But I'm getting there. Day by day. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.